I have been teaching in New Pelos Baños for 25 years, and I thought I have already encountered all sorts of students, situations, and stories about college teaching. Until 2020 came, and everything changed in the classroom I used to know. COVID-19 pandemic abruptly changed our educational system, living in days our young school children and even our college students. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Larissa Gata, a sociologist and forester from the College of Forest and Natural Resources in the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. And I would like to share with you some of the strategies I use in teaching during the COVID-19 pandemic. In line with UP policies, I made major adjustments in teaching SFFG152 in remote learning modality. SFFG152 or Sociology of Natural Resources is a core course taken by graduating students under the BS Forestry curriculum, an elective course for students from various colleges. My strategies involve connecting with students by all means, exercising extreme compassion, differentiating modalities based on connectivity, and providing correspondence handbooks. I connected with my students using Facebook and Messenger, emails, Google Classroom, Zoom meetings, and a good old mobile phone. I practice extreme compassion by maintaining constant communication with the students who also reciprocated this with respect and thus creating a more personalized learning environment for us. Moreover, my students could be classified into those with full connectivity, those with weak or intermittent connectivity, and those with no connectivity at all. In response, I designated a synchronous section for those with full connectivity and a correspondence section for those without. Ultimately, the students opted for a hybrid, combining the two. Such flexibility was made possible by the four handbooks I wrote for the course pack of SFFG152. The first handbook was the Learner's Handbook, which is the main text that contains all the details on the schedule, topic, course outcome, discussion, and assessment tools. I wrote it in a way as I would normally talk to my students in a traditional classroom setup. Within the text, I incorporated questions for recitation, quizzes, and assignments as a way to monitor if we were all in the same page during the class period. The second handbook was the Learning Resources Handbook which is a compilation of the required and supplemental materials that were appropriately cited. Links and guide questions were also provided. The third handbook was the Activity Response Handbook, which provides asynchronous activities requiring individual or group effort. Group works were done using chat rooms and SMS. The fourth handbook was the Assessment Handbook, it is a workbook for learners and answering the recitation, quizzes, and activity responses. Recitations were done during class hours wherein the students needed to submit their answers through SMS. In return, they would receive recitation codes that they needed to record in the recitation slip. They were required to accumulate at least seven recitation days in the entire semester. Questions for quizzes were provided in the Learner's Handbook but students needed to provide their answers through the Google Forms in their LMS. Here are some of the feedbacks I gathered from the students who took this class during the pandemic. In general, I received positive and encouraging comments that the strategies I created in delivering the SFFG152 during the pandemic might have really worked. Indeed, these handbooks proved to be the best way to get connected with students even in the absence of internet services especially during and after the typhoons. Later in 2020, this was awarded a UPL Bicentennial Faculty Grant to improve its contents further. In conclusion, I have shared these strategies to inform and inspire my co-faculty members, especially in the social sciences, in pushing further our limits and boundaries, especially in crafting more innovative and creative ways of communicating to and instructing our learners. Our situation may be bleak, but our willpower is stronger.